Hey everyone, it's me again, Candy, and it's very early this morning. I'm doing my morning devotion, and I just wanted to share a quick word with y'all. Um, but before I do, I want to thank all my subscribers and all our newest subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for following me along on this journey. Um, and I'm, I'm just really overwhelmed and thankful for each and every one of you for taking the time. Um, this is going to be a short video. I just want to share a quick word with y'all. The Lord has put on my heart. And uh, yeah, that's it. So let's get into it. So let's talk about a kind word. If you want to, you can turn with me to Proverbs 16, 24. 16 and verse 24, Proverbs says, Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. So, what I want to say is, right now, we are living in some really hard times. Everyone is going through something. I mean, everyone. I, I'm, as I talk to each and every one of you right now, you're all going through something that's very hard. And I just want to share the power of a kind word. Like, you know, let's let's try to let's try to spread kindness. You know, if you see something that's good about somebody, tell them. Don't hold it back. Don't hold it within yourself because we all could use a kind word right now. If they have a nice smile or a great quality and you see that, tell them. Let's spread kindness, you know. And I believe now more than ever that that is what we're called as children of God to do is to give a kind word and show God's love. And um, just that's what I try to do. I try. You know, I'm human. I fall short. But if I see something about somebody, I try to tell them and let them know. Because you don't know what one word can make a difference in someone's life. You don't know what they're going through. And you don't know what that one word that says, hey, you have a great smile. Or just whatever, you know. Um, and just smiling at somebody and saying, have a wonderful day. Have a blessed day. You don't know that that can make all the difference. You don't know what they're going through at home. You don't know what they're going through with their family. So... Let's all try to get outside of ourselves just a little bit and spread kindness. As you know that you're going through something, more than likely the next person is going through something too. And possibly they're going through something that is even more challenging than what you may be going through at that time. So just be kind whenever it's possible. Um, and then also, I want to read Proverbs 15, 1 to you. So if you want to, you can turn with me. We're going to go back to Proverbs 15, 1. It says, A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. How many of y'all ever been to a restaurant or at work? You run into somebody and they're just cranky. They're they're mean and they say something, you know, just kind of snappy with you. You know, they may be going, like I said before, they may be really going through something. And as hard as it is and as much as you want to snap back, just try to think. You know, pause a minute. You know, it's like James 1.19 says, you can turn to it if you would like to. James 1.19 says, be so to speak, quick to listen, and slow to wrath. So try to just pause a minute and think, you know, I don't know what this person's going through. Let's try to show them a little bit of grace. Um, right now, more than ever, we need to try to show grace to people. Um, even if they're, you know, a waitress and they seem kind of irritable at you or whatever it may be, just try to, you know, think, you know, okay, they could be really struggling right now and pray for them and then try to come back with a kind word and they may still not receive it, but you did your part and God sees that. So whenever you have a chance, just try to be kind and show God's love to someone and show grace because I'm sure we've all had days where we've been snappy and irritable. Lord knows I do. I have them and I'm going through something and that's not an excuse, but sometimes it's, it's hard to realize that you're being like that and, or to, to control it when you're really struggling inside 
internally. So pray for that person and, and just show extra love and kindness to them because you don't know what a difference that can make. They could realize, you know, wow, I was kind of tacky, you know, but they show love there, you know what I mean? And it could mean so much to them. Y'all, this is a simple word, but a powerful word. Just remember the power of a kind word, how much it can do. I know when I tell someone something nice, they they just light up, you know? So just I challenge each and every one of you, not just today, but every day, give a kind word to someone. You know, look for good qualities in someone. Look for something nice to say. Look for positives in people. Um, so you can make a difference. You don't know. You just don't know what someone is going through. So let's try to show God's love whenever it's possible. And really, y'all, this is a quick little simple word, but I wanted to share it with y'all. Um, I believe we need more of that today. And I'm praying for each and every one of you, whatever you may be going through, whatever challenges y'all are facing, God knows it. But just know that I'm also praying. I don't know what you're all going through. But God does, and I lift you up to Him. And, you know, I just want y'all to know that God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And He will bring you through it. If He brings you to it, He will bring you through it. So, I just want you to know, He is faithful. Remember that. He is faithful. And God bless each and every one of y'all. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.